Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you, um, or we go, we are going to see some uh, basics of how to use uh, terminal. Uh, use some commands. Just a introduction to the uh, Linux. Okay. So uh, let's uh, just start. Let's start with uh, a very popular thing is how to open the terminal just hit control alt and t okay in case you want to open another tab right here control shift t here we go let's just close it and uh, first thing first you need to understand what are you uh, what's this thing you are using this thing is called a terminal emulator you can see about it here terminal emulator gnome I'm using gnome right here there is a lot of uh, terminals uh, use whatever you like uh, another thing you need to know is uh, what shell you are using so echo dash zero z shell Okay, I'm using Z shell. I can use bash to yes. Okay, so uh, I'm using bash bash right now. So if you do this, I'm using bash. What if I want to exit bash and back to the Z shell? Just hit exit and everything is done. Let's take a look what uh, shells we have right here. Etc and shells. We have plenty of shells as you can see okay clear and next thing we need to know is uh, what's what's happening in our uh, path here what do we found in our path so hit ls or list and everything will show up here so listing things uh, will show you what exactly in that directory okay not exactly everything but hidden files or hidden directories won't show up until you put or added a uh, option to ls I'll show you how so you do ls dash a to sh or all to show hidden files okay clear this one right now and let's go to uh, it is dash l the dash l will show you uh, um, extra information about the files like permissions or uh, the type of the file if it starts with the d it's a directory okay if it starts with the uh, dash it's a just a file okay so uh, we have listed everything right here with the ls dash l okay so let's see more options on how uh, listing does work we use men to show manual of any uh, command or mostly all mostly because some commands does not have manuals so it is okay ls list directory content ls dash uh, options here file here or folder description uh, list information about the files the current directory by default certain tires alphabetically in none of the blah 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 nor double dash sort in uh, is uh, specified so these are uh, your options there's plenty of options you can take a look uh, on uh, the description uh, how does the they work okay that's it uh, for LS let's go out and clear the terminal okay what else we can uh, we can uh, do okay let's see how to move from uh, a folder to another one with CD or change directory because man CD no <laughs> as you can see there is no uh, manual for it or um, 
that's it for uh, CD is a change directory text let's go to the desktop okay, our oh, terminal what if you want to go back to the same uh, folder before we go here we use the uh, double point or double dot and we are in the same directory okay so as you said uh, CD double dot to go back to the uh, directory before this, uh, the one that you gone forward okay and CD for example desktop is to go to move on for the next uh, folder okay we are right now in let's try PWD to take a look where we are print working directory we are in the desktop so right now in the desktop I want to uh, make some uh, to do some work so uh, first thing let's make a file and name it eight okay clear and right now I'm going to put uh, all the information from the output right here I want to send it to directly to the uh, empty file right here so let's make date Here we go here, and let's make uh, another one, another command of the date. It's called calendar, and we need to put double options for this one because if you put it one like this, oh, I mean eight, if you put it like this, all the information in the file is going to be deleted, and you will be uh, rewriting this. Uh, content right here so make sure to to, uh, to use this code uh, very carefully okay let's open that file right now as you can see both uh, commands sent to the uh, file right here so basically that's how you send uh, any output from the uh, from the terminal right here to uh, another file okay any information you want to just put it in the uh, for example I want to uh, I don't know send him to to show the process what's going on in the uh, file so as I told you here if you put just one option everything will be deleted and the new information will be set in that file okay so careful let's put back our date okay let's make it date same time go to date clear it and cat that date everything set basically it did not work <laughs> uh, it's not a big deal so we'll make it again oh because uh, we did not put the information right mm let's make it let's do it again date one txt go as I can told you double here we go and everything is gone right first command and second command clear out terminal 
so I want to make uh, a folder and put uh, the folder name is 2021 and put the date inside of it so make directory and name it 2021 here we go and move that date file into the folder and make it in the desktop or a copy I'm not sure let's make a link for it 2021 date basically uh, the terminal showing me all the commands I've done them because I've been uh, training to just to make you uh, to make a video how to process to make a video so doesn't matter let's go home Kali and desktop that's a link the unique uh, or the uh, what you need to know about the link is that uh, if you did uh, a link for a file like this one and you see it like a copy of the original version right but this file right here if you modify it the original file will be uh, modified so let's uh, try that let's make the as for example and put on a date same thing it does modify it okay let's clear this one right here okay let's close the file clear it okay this copy uh, the folder 2021 to uh, the uh, Kali direct directory them so backup copy interactive it shows you uh, the options to copy or not for command line symbolic So anyway, that's the manual of the copy. <laughs> so let's do copy 2021 to um, Kali. Yep, we need to uh, use r dash r for directories. So let's open manual and go copy and take a look about dash air what uh, what's relate for recursive recursive fail copy directories recursive again it is for directories basically close this one and clear the file or the terminal what else we can see here we have seen the move, the copy, the uh, print uh, working directory, change directory, cd, ln to make a link, um, how to uh, input uh, information.
information about something directly to the file so basically you guys need to start with these uh, steps little by little day by day information by, by information and you will build a mindset of uh, how to how to learn uh, the Linux how does work and little by little you will be uh, if you want to of course you will be uh, uh, you find yourself uh, working in more advanced uh, commands and stuff like that okay all right see you later guys have good have a good day and take care bye